All right, as we begin module six, let's point out a few commonalities between these microbes. This section has been separated into half to help chunk the similar sounding names of these bacterium. The three at the bottom in asterisks we've already covered in a previous module. But if you draw a line down the middle of this image, you will see that they are still divided into two groups. Those that we refer to as sisters in this module are all culturable on buffered charcoal yeast extract medium, while the non-sisters are not. This module will heavily coincide with animal bites, parasites, and other vectors transferred by these hosts. There are a few points that are considered high yield in this section, so we should be able to get through it in no time. Most diseases are also named after their pathogen, leaving little to tax our cognitive capacities. The brucella genus causes, who would have guessed, brucellosis. This is transferred from infected animals, such as in unpasteurized milk or even animal-to-person contact. It can be difficult to point out as these infections seem to have typical symptoms of the flu. The main factor you would look for is a patient with a fever that seems to come and go. This undulating fever can last months to years if not treated. For Francisella, tularemia is a disease of consequence. This is most commonly associated with transfer from certain wildlife such as deers or rabbits. A hunter with a recent ulcer at the site of a bug bite might be a clue to look for tularemia. Other symptoms such as fever, swollen lymph nodes, headache, and even pneumonia are fairly nonspecific. The ulcer is usually the giveaway in a setting of wildlife. With pastorella, you're looking for a recent cat or dog bite. This infected animal can transfer the bacteria through the bite, causing cellulitis at the bite site. In rare cases, bacteremia can transfer the pathogen to other parts of the body, leading to more severe consequences. The three above were the Ella sister category. Now for the non-Ellas. Gardnerilla is a more common and clinically significant microbe than the Ellas. It can easily be mistaken for other genital infections, and must be distinguished from other vaginosis and vaginitis causes. Untreated, genital urinary infections can spread in a retrograde manner. In the case of Gardnerella, this may lead to pelvic inflammatory disease. Bartonella, namely B. hensile, is often seen in cat and dog bites or scratches. This can be easily confused with Pastorella seen above. The difference is the presentation of the skin lesion. Pastorella causes a cellulitis presentation, while Bartonella causes bacillary angiomatosis. Looking up some images for both of these diseases will help you to visually separate them out. It also causes cat scratch disease, which can display with swollen lymph nodes near the site of injury. B. quintana is the cause of trench fever, which was transmitted by lice to soldiers in trenches during World War I. Obviously, this is a less common disease today, as is Carrion's disease, which is associated with this microbe. Achenella corodens is normally a flora in the human mouth and respiratory tract. This is why it is associated with fight bites, in which one person's fist connects with another's teeth. It's not uncommon for someone to come to an emergency room with a cut on their hands, stating they lost their temper and hit a wall. Not likely if cultures come back positive for this bug. As one of the Haysek bacteria, it can lead to infective endocarditis. Also, as it lives in the upper respiratory tract, it is possible to cause disease in this pathway, such as tracheitis. Coxiella, like most of the microbes in this module, have few distinguishing points. However, it does have an interesting presentation of Q fever, which is a mild pneumonia-like illness. It is seen in many animals and may be associated with contact of their fluids, such as a slaughterhouse or placenta after a delivery. Transmission is often from aerosol, but can be from parasite vectors as well. In rare instances, it has been associated with hepatitis. This section was a hodgepodge of diseases and vectors, though they are most commonly associated with an animal reservoir. Remember that the stepsisters are negative on BCYE medium while the others will grow. Any animal given in the question stem is likely to signify one of these infections. Next, we'll briefly review the common presentations. Are you an educator or a student with an interest in creating educational content? Would you like some tips and tricks to improve on the educational material you're working on? Please contact us via the website contact form or social media to inquire about free instructional design advice. 
We're also open to discussing hosting your material and working together to build a platform for the future of medical education.